Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we are doing the Polish Pickup Wishlist video. Now these polishes will be available from October 1st until the 4th, 11 a.m. Eastern time until midnight Eastern time on the 4th. So if you enjoy wishlist videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. And we are going to start out with one of the polishes that I actually swatched. And I know, I know, like this is the quickest way to tell you all how much trouble I am going to be in this month. Um, this is Dreamland Lacquer's Spirit of Samhain. So make sure you check out my swatch video, shameless plug here, um, for this polish and the details. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to just talk about how beautiful this polish is. It is pretty enough that I want a backup. Yes, I already have one. Yes, I feel like I should probably just consider myself lucky and not purchase an extra bottle because how often do you use up a whole bottle of polish? But, but here's the thing. I could see myself wearing this every fall for the extended future. Like I feel like this could be an every year fall polish and I love it so much. So definitely in trouble. If you know me, you know that I try to stick close to my budget, but I feel like this polish is definitely going to put me out of that range because I just need it. I need it. I want it. I can't say no to it. But next up is a brand that is new to my wish listing. This is Restored by Polishes. I will rise. It's going to be $12.75. And I'm showing that there will be a hundred of this polish available. Now, it's a multi-chrome that shifts from red to green to gold to orange and brown. And then it contains gold hollow shreds and platinum flakes. So I am absolutely blown away. I want it so bad. And I feel like it's a really, really good polish to have in your collection. Also, fall colors. And I have no self-control when it comes to fall colors. I just need them all. I want them all, all of the polishes, all of the shirts, all of the dresses, if it is fall, I want it. But also, I mean, the meaning behind it is pretty awesome too. It's inspired by the phoenix that rises from ashes of destruction to become a beautiful bird. I mean, is there a better metaphor for when things go wrong in your life and you still manage to overcome and come out of it better than you were before. I mean, it's nice to have a polish that reminds you of that. So yes, I definitely want this one. It's pretty much a go. I keep telling myself that I'm going to do only three, but it's definitely looking like this month, I'm going to have to raise that number to five. And I'm low-key a little scared because I still have to keep money in the budget for the Olive F Polish restock. I missed out on the collection earlier when it dropped and I am confident that it will sell out again. So I want to make sure I get my hands on it. Now we have another Phoenix kind of thing going. Um, we have Phoenix Spirited. Now, I know this is by a brand that I already know, but I can't remember which one changed their name. But the reason why I want this polish is because it is inspired by one of my favorite animes ever, 
of all time by Studio Ghibli. So anyway, I'll get to the details. It's $12.50 and there is a cap of 500. It is described as a jelly blurple with Aurora Shimmer, orange, gold, green, and black red micro flakies. So there's a lot of composition going here. And mostly what I'm seeing is that sunset color shift again. I love when I see a shimmer that reminds me of that. It always appeals to me. It's never a time when I don't like it. And then, like I said, it's especially going to be one of those sentimental polishes because I think another brand did Studio Ghibli polishes and I managed to miss out on all of them. So I have a strong pull to this one. I don't want to miss out on it because, I mean, come on, it's gorgeous and it has sentimental value. Precious. But anyway, we have to keep going in the interest of time. If you have not already grabbed a snack, I apologize. You're going to need one after this because it's an uncharacteristically long video for me. But I could not eliminate any of these before I actually filmed. But I did drop like two or three. But I'll tell you about that at the end. So next up is Painted Polish Dead But Delicious. And all I'm looking at is I'm seeing the name and I'm like, I'm thinking of steak and it's horrible and it's bad. And I'm just like, I shouldn't. But um, it is $13.50 and there will only be 350 available. So when I say utilize your wish list, utilize your cart, preload your cart, do everything you can to be on time for 11 a.m. Eastern time on Friday, October 1st. This is one of the reasons why I say so. Anyway, it is inspired by Vladislav the Poker, our favorite New Zealand-based vampire from What We Do in the Shadows. And it's a vampy blood red jelly with color shifting, iridescent and metallic flakes. How gorgeous is this polish? I think I have one other painted polish in my collection and I feel like I need this one. But also part of me is like, you still have baths full of shame and you could go with that. You could be happy with that. So I don't know. I want this one. I think it would look great in matte and glossy. But moving along again, there's another that I tried to eliminate it. I tried to pull it out. I tried to get rid of it. And I feel like it's to me to pass up. So this one is Noodles Nail Polish, a very neat monster. And it will be $12.00. And I'm not showing any type of caps or limits on it. So I will have the full three days to think about if I still want it. Anyway, it's inspired by Dexter Morgan, who's a very neat monster or a self-proclaimed very neat monster. And it's described as a black wine red base with red matte and metallic glitters and violet to red to orange color shifting flakes. So it's going to dry with some texture and that usually turns me off. However, with Coloris de Caro's new smoothing top coat, and Glisten and Glow's Glitter Grabber, I feel like I'm in a good position to collect more polishes like this. Also, it just looks stunning. I believe it would be beautiful in matte or in shiny, so I think it's going to come down to noodles or painted polish. I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys. I am so completely 
astounded by how beautiful these polishes are that I'm just, I'm shook. It's going to take me a whole week just to decide which ones I can afford to keep on my list. But it's, it's so pretty. I just, I couldn't turn it down. I normally shy away from those, but seeing as now that I have ways around the texture, I don't want to say no. But here we are with another polish that I already swatched, but I loved it so much that I didn't want to say goodbye to it. I don't want to use it up. I want to have a backup where I can get to it easily without having to search D stashes or beg and plead with the maker. Pretty, 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 please make me another one. <laughs> because that's kind of shady and not cool. So um, this one is MJ Lacquers. Oh, goody. So if you've seen it, you know about it. It's on my swatch video. Check it out. Um, but this one, it's in my price range. It's $11.50. And I am showing that there's going to be only 240 available. So I am also kind of feeling that little, that little prick of guilt about it because I don't want anyone to miss out on it. But at the same time, I have conferred with other friends in the polish community and they have said all is fair in love and polish. If I get it, I've got it, be happy and go ahead and grab my extra bottle because I don't want to miss out on this one. Like the shimmer set off that beautiful, like mustardy yellow base perfectly. And the flakies scream fall in such a huge way that I don't want to pass it up. I feel like I could wear it because it's bright enough for a transition all the way past like Thanksgiving going into Christmas. So I feel, I feel like this one is going to give me some mileage and I need to have another bottle. I mean, at the very least, if I'm half as smart as I think I am. But next up is another one. I told you all, I am in so much trouble this month, my friends, because I've swatched these polishes and I still feel like I need another bottle. Part of me is guilty because it's like, no, no, no. You've got what you've got. You're good to go. Just ration it. Don't overuse it. Don't do like two petties back to back in consecutive months with this polish just because you love it. <laughs> but anyway, next up is KB, KB Shimmers Rise Up. Already swatched it. Check out the video. Yada, yada. You know, I want this one because of the contrast. And the flakes look big and juicy. And they shift in color as you move your fingers. So it's like you can literally see the flames and against the sky colored background. Like, not a beautiful day-colored sky, like more of a smoky sky, but it's a, it's inspired by a phoenix. So, I just, I fell in love with it immediately. I liked it when I mattified it. I liked it glossy. I feel like this is one of those polishes I'm going to be heartbroken about if I miss out on it. Because July is... Rewind month, but there's never a guarantee that the polish you want is going to show up in the rewind. And I don't want to take that chance. I'd just rather go ahead, grab it, and then settle up with my wallet later, which is going to be heartless mad at me for this month. <laughs> And now we are at our very last polish for this month for my wish list. And I feel honestly like it's not the end because 
I will be going back to try to eliminate some and without fail when I try to eliminate some I end up adding more so we'll see how this goes it's girly bits with I am the last one and it's inspired by dragon heart it's a deep maroon with fiery violet gold green shimmer and I kid you not your girl V completely sold me on this polish there are only going to be 200 available and I feel like I am going to lose it if I don't get this polish but at the same time I feel like don't I have something similar somewhere in my collection do I really need it and every time I look at her swatches I'm like it's okay I could have a dupe of this one. I could have several dupes of this one and I would be perfectly okay with it. I would actually be completely happy about it. So if you are still here, the ones that I cut from my list were Polished for Days and Kathleen and Co because I feel like I have something similar also, I wanted the unicorn e-reader, but e-reader case, but I thought about it and I was like, I need to keep room for these polishes. So if you're part of my nail fam, thank you for staying and watching this long. I am sending out virtual hugs to all of you because I know the struggle is real. And if you are new to my channel, I hope you're considering subscribing and hanging out with us more. As always, take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in my next video.